Hi, and welcome to GVTV. I'm Marlene Ami. Being able to recover energy from waste materials is good, but recouping more energy is better. Upgrades at the GVRD's Burnaby Waste Incinerator now allow its steam output to be used to generate electricity, providing a clean source of revenue for the GVRD, which is great news for taxpayers. This is a waste to energy facility. Our primary purpose is to burn garbage. In doing that, we produce energy. That energy is converted into steam, which we can sell to industry. The incinerator is owned by the GVRD, but is run by Montanay Incorporated, and it has been in operation since 1987. Here we burn 250,000 tons a year of municipal solid waste for the GVRD. The waste begins its conversion into energy at the bunker. The garbage is lifted to the top of the chute by grapple hooks. The hooks can lift three tons of garbage at a time. The garbage is dropped down the chute and into the incinerator. The garbage itself is on the grate for about 26 minutes while it burns, and it burns at 1,150 degrees centigrade. Uh, the operators are in a monitoring mode at this point. They don't actually have to intervene. The computers are actually burning the garbage. But each of our operators here is a registered power engineer. At the bottom of the incinerator, the leftover ash and metal drops out. Magnets pull out the metal. The ash ends up in roads, and the metal is recycled to make rebar. Some of the ash is unrecyclable and goes to the landfill. The heat generated by the burning garbage is turned into steam. This is the very top of the boiler house. Seven floors below us is where the actual burn takes place. Within the, bur within the boiler and the furnace, there are tubes filled with water. The heat from the fire creates steam within these tubes, and this is collected in this steam drum right here. The steam is then traverses through this pipe and goes over to the adjacent paper mill. After we have used the steam, uh, the condensate will be, will be returned back to uh, GBRD, and where they can use it again to make steam and return back to us. So it's a closed loop system there. Using steam, means that the Norampak plant no longer needs to use fossil fuels to meet their power needs. The incinerator emissions are quite low. In fact, the incinerator is rated as ISO 14001, an international standard for environmental performance. The Burnaby Incinerator is the second waste to energy plant in North America to be ISO 14000 certified. The air quality standards that we meet here are some of the strictest in North America and certainly this is one of the most heavily tested stacks within the Lower Mainland. By the year 2003, the plant will be able to use steam to generate electricity. The turbo generator is a piece of equipment that takes the steam produced at this facility, runs it through the steam turbine, which then turns the generator. The generator makes electrical power and in this case enough to power 15,000 homes. On average with 15 megawatts here, you're talking about uh, $500,000 a month or $6 million a year that this machine will be producing. The revenues obtained from the sale of electricity from this project will be used by the district to maintain the low cost of disposal of garbage for the residents of the Lower Mainland. There was a long and involved analysis of what size we should put in, what technology we should use, and we came down to this technology because it allowed us the flexibility of providing steam to the adjacent paper mill as much as they need while still being able to maximize the amount of electricity we can produce. The turbine part of the unit was gen uh, manufactured in the Brno in the Czech Republic. The generator itself in Rugby, England. The two were shipped over here uh, on a container ship and uh, truck up from Tacoma onto the site. Tacoma, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Turbo generator technology is as old as steam itself. However, this particular unit uses uh, every space age material and modern technology available to us today. When we talk about sustainability, we're talking about uh, the, the three legs of sustainability, the social, and certainly this is producing four full-time jobs as well as many, many part-time jobs for maintenance on the equipment, specialized work. Uh, the economic is uh, obvious with the amount of money that will be generated by it and the environmental in that uh, this facility will be producing 15 megawatts with no environmental impact. 
That will allow things like Burrard Thermal to be back down by 15 megawatts. We're very excited about this project because it is a prime example of sustainability. And we're not only doing it in, this air, in the solid waste area, we're also looking at the sewage areas and the water utility provision that the GVRD gives. And for example, uh, here at this facility, we're also going to be upgrading our admin building, and we're going to be doing that with the LEED certification, which is a green building type certification, so that we're doing it at the highest possible standard that we can attain. The Burnaby incinerator plays an important role in the disposal of solid waste throughout the region. For information on tours of the facility, call 604-521-1025.